I've got my whole fucking family at home. No fighting. No fighting. No fucking fighting. No fighting. No fucking fighting! Get the fuck in. If you're like me and you've got your whole fucking family home, well, this dish is for you. Curls, pork veal mince, it's the only mince I can get. Porcini mushrooms, mushrooms, onion, thyme, chickpeas. Do you know how many of these I've got in the cupboard? And this was prior to coronavirus. Oh, I swore I wasn't gonna fucking say that. Anyway, it's prior to whatever's, and I had a whole lot of them anyway. Let's get to it. Foamy soap. Right, like that. In the fingers. Nail! Rinse. And then, special water. But mum, I've got fake tan on your fucking asshole. Well, that was a fail. Now I'm back to Pivo. Pivo is an automated little thingy that you that you put your phone on. And... So, <laughs> I'm fucking shy of having a camera operator. Before I chop that onion, I'm gonna put some boiling water in the porcini mushrooms to hydrate them, and it's the juice I'm actually gonna use. Onions. I really am not too fussed about how you cut them up, but the smaller the better. <laughs> Garlic. You know why I do that? When you, Ooh, like that, loosens the skin, see? Fantastic. My husband's just come back with a bottle of red. Husband! <laughs> I'm gonna dice the garlic this time. Often I throw the whole cloves in. Now this time, babies. Oil, the onion and the garlic, in it goes. Notice there's no sizzle? Why? Cause, best to let it heat up. This is it, my kids, they cook shit and they turn the heat on so high, the instant they put it in, it shrivels up into a little brown, little tiny, Bits of crap. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know what? I don't reckon there's anything that smells better than onion and garlic cooking in a pan with a shit ton of olive oil. Beautiful. Okay. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Bit of wine. For mama. Next. Choo! Pork and pork and veal mince is actually the tastiest mince. It just has this great flavour to it. Break up the mince. No one wants big chunks of mince. Everybody wants little, nice little, little bits of mince. Mincy bits of mince. That's why it's called mince. Because they're mincy. So, the important thing is, is to let it brown. Always let mince brown before you add anything. These porcini mushrooms that have been soaking, we're just gonna pour. the stock in there from that porcini mushroom. The flavor that that adds to that mince is something else. Now, when there's not a lot of juice left, this is when we add the tin tomatoes. Well, that just, you know, I don't know about you, but they were going cheap, just saying. All right, so really give it a good stir around, work it through. Here's where I get a bit sneaky. Those porcini mushrooms that are left, that I, I've used the juice of, I'm gonna chop them up to tiny little bits. Because if your kids, my kids, don't really like them, they say, no, 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 Then I can just disguise them in there and they say, oh, that tastes really nice, the flavor's really good. <laughs> little bit of Huh? Like that, see how they're all chopped up? Tiny, 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 tiny. I'm throwing mushrooms in. I'm not making these too small because Charlie picks them out. They have to be big enough. Can you see how many I've added there? Thyme and mushrooms. There's no greater relationship, seriously. Next, chickpeas. What? Chickpeas, yep. In they go. This is at that beautiful stage where it's just harmonious. It's a fucking symphony in there. Pasta. T 
10 minutes. No. How long? Eight, because two minutes in there. There we go. In, straight in from here, into there, like that. <gasps> All right, so here's the tricky bit, because I've put quite a shit ton of plaster in there. Two more things. For those of you that have seen a couple of my recipes on Insta, you know this drill. You know the drill? While it's all warm. Well, oh my God. Yep. Parsley just to green it up over the top. 